Ahoy there. Ahoy. Ahoy. If ye be looking for Trixie, Trixie Hobbit, you've come to the right place. Hi. I really have, truly. I have a special surprise. Not only do I feel inclined to talk a little bit like a pirate, but I have a little bit of permission to feature a pirate song on my channel. And by a little bit of permission, that means I went and contacted the band and sent them a Facebook message. And I said, wait, let's see if I can do this in pirate. Ahoy, might I use your beautiful sea sh it's not a sea shanty might i use your beautiful pirate song for talk like a pirate day and they said go for it so here i am i mean here i be featuring the pirate song the last Saskatchewan pirate. Now, you know, Saskatchewan is a province in the middle of Canada. Pretty much smack dab in the middle of it. And it is about the shape of, well, it would be the shape of a cell phone, a smartphone. But the map, well, you know what happens to parts of the map if you try to follow the um, longitude lines from the pole south. They kind of triangularize. Anyway. Yeah, so geographical center of Canada. And Saskatchewan's a pretty special place for me because I used to holiday there every summer, every summer. I spent large parts of my childhood summers visiting family in the middle of Canada. So trust me, the song is funny. It helps to know that Saskatchewan doesn't really border any ocean at all. That might help. A pirate song about Saskatchewan pirates? Hmm. No, it's not that they go traveling, really. But uh, this province of Saskatchewan also has a reputation for being flat. So flat. How flat is it? So flat that you could spend hours and hours just watching your dog run away. So flat that it's the only province with four straight borders, as a cartographer would um, draw them. So cartographically speaking, it's a rectangle. So, I, I be pretty pleased to present you with this beauteous song, which I'll be reading to you, rather than singing, but I'll keep some of the rhythm in for the chorus, if that's your favorite part. It's one of my favorite parts, and as many times as I've practiced reading this, 
I find myself reverting to the old habits of audience participation. So, um, that's fun. <laughs> okay. Now, can you imagine a nice little farm stretched along the Canadian Pacific train tracks? I used to be a farmer, and I made a living fine. I had a little stretch of land along the CP line, but times were hard, and though I tried, the money wasn't there, and the bankers came and took my land told me fair is fair. I looked for every kind of job. The answer, always no. How are you now? They'd always laugh. We just let 20 go. The government, they promised me a measly little sum But I've got too much pride to end up just another bum. Then I thought, who gives a damn if all the jobs are gone? I'm gonna be a pirate on the river Saskatchewan. And it's a heave ho, hi ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers, bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shore. Well, you'd think the local farmers would know that I'm at large, but just the other day, I found an unprotected barge. I snuck up right behind them, and they were none the wiser. I rammed their ship and sank it. Stole their fertilizer. A bridge outside of Moose Jaw spans a mighty river. Farmers cross in so much fear their stomachs are a quiver. Cause they know that Tractor Jack is hiding in the bay. I'll jump the bridge and knock them cold and sail off with their hay. And it's a heave, ho, hi, ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers, bar your doors when you see the jolly. On Regina's mighty shores. Well, Mounty Bob, he chased me. He was always at my throat. He followed on the shoreline, cause he didn't own a boat. But cutbacks were a coming, and the Mounty lost his job. So now he's sailing with us, and we call him Salty Bob. A swinging sword, a skull and bones, and pleasant company. I never pay my income tax, and screw the GST. Screw it. 
sailing down to Saskatoon, the terror of the seas. If you want to reach the co-op, boy, you got to get by me. Because it's a heave-ho, hi-ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers, bar your doors. When you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Are ya salty dog? Are ya salty gopher? Salty bale of hay. <laughs> well, pirate life's appealing, but you don't just find it here. I hear in North Alberta there's a band of buccaneers. They roam the Athabasca from Smith to Fort McKay. And you're gonna lose your Stetson if you have to pass their way. Well, winter is a coming, and a chill is in the breeze. My pirate days are over once the river starts to freeze. I'll be back in springtime, but now I have to go. I hear there's lots of plundering down in New Mexico. Cause it's a heave, ho, hi, ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers, bar your doors. When you see the Jolly Roger, on Regina's mighty shores. Cause it's a heave ho, hi ho, coming down the plains, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers, bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. When you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Thanks so much for listening. If you sang along, thank you loads. Um, first saw the arrogant worms most of the times I've seen the arrogant worms it's out at music festivals well a couple music festivals so there'd be a lot of audience participation participation kids um grown-ups all kinds of people crew sound guys um making all the hand motions and yelling out loud um when they, when the arrogant worms would say what the audience participation expectations are. And it was always fun to see a whole, like, field of people with their arms in the air, yelling out. And it, it's something I, really keep in mind whenever I hear this song. One of the reasons why I love it so much. Well, thanks for listening. Until next time. <laughs>